So far, we've seen a chair, a chair fell. The whole couch, <laughs> the whole couch. And then the, the light, the door moved. Look at it, Olivia. It's fucking moving. Oh. <laughs> and now the light. the light. Olivia, did you hear that? Wait, Stay I need up. to go. No, the I'm not hour. staying. I know, I'm not staying. One more minute. Get that camera out of my. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with my good friend, Olivia. And today we're doing something a little different. I don't know if you recognize this door. We're here outside of the Cannon House. Yes. And um, we're gonna cut to the little story behind this house while we enter inside. Guys, this took place in 1876. <laughs> to make matters worse, this house was built on an Indian burial ground. And if you don't know what Indian burial grounds, I mean, it's just basically bad news. Yes. Um, so, but the first people to own this home was James Baxter, who lived with his wife and his two twin daughters. Mm. At first, they thought they found their dream home. It's a nice house. Not long after, things got fishy. Now, James was well known in his small town called Broback Mountain. He owned the first ever strip club. His wife, however, got fed up with James in that damn club. Uh, one night, she grabbed the kitchen cannonball and lit it up, killing James and her twin daughters. Realizing what she has done, she jumped out of the window, snapping her neck and leaving her grieving soul and is now haunting this house yes so it's got negative energy and quite sad you know yes because she was just so fed up she just she wanted to kill her husband mm -hmm. not her daughters she was very upset that she could she loved her children very deeply yes she would have done anything for them so that's why she jumped out that window this window right there i can still feel her in here i can feel her inside me um, guys, we can't disrespect the ghosts in this house. If we do, that's it's really bad. So, let's go in. We're gonna be respectful and have manners. Come on, Bertha! Guys, we just entered the house and already I have this horrible feeling. Me too. My stomach. I I feel sick. You want like throw up, right? Yes. My head already. It feels like there's like pressure on. So yes. I feel like an evil presence in here, sad, negative feelings, okay? Yes. And we're gonna get into later exactly why this house has such bad hype. So, so this right here, my Olivia's gonna sit down right here. How do you feel sitting on this couch? I feel a little uneasy. Where are? Yes. This was the exact couch where James himself oh no yeah. oh no <laughs> we're gonna move upstairs and it, it's supposed to be the most haunted in this house in the whole house this yes. area right here yes besides the kitchen the sec the kitchen is the second most haunted, haunted place guys we made our way to the kitchen yes and um you want to go ahead and take over the story yes so right over here right over here Right here. Ooh. This table's at. It's uh, yes. Um, you see that table right there. This table right here right used to there. be the cannonball contraption. Yes. Used to sit right here in the family's room, and this is where she pondered. It's where she took and it. Committed the horrid act. She took the cannon, and she killed her husband. And, and her, her two twin daughters. twin daughters. Um and they died instantly. I mean there was a cannonball in this right, house. Yes, you know? right over here. Took basically the whole thing down. There's a whole lot of refurnishment and building yes. and stuff like that. Because currently someone lives here. Yes. They and, bought um, the house. We know the owners, so that's why we're able to he investigate and see yes. exactly what is going on in this activity in this house. Yes. Um, without them, we wouldn't be able to come. Um, <laughs> guys! Okay, guys, now we are moving 
upstairs. Let's do this. <laughs> we have this whole house to ourselves for the entire night. I'm, I'm home. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? It's real dark and creepy in here. This is where they sat down and had a lovely conversation like the family they were. What a tragedy. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Olivia, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. You heard that? I heard that. That was so loud. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I feel like it was behind me. Behind you? Yeah. Okay, go, go close over here. Go close over here. But what had happened here is trapped here forever. And can almost hear her voice. Do you hear that? Yeah. It's crazy, huh? Oh my god. It's like, I can hear her. Like, that's speaking. loud. I'm getting chills, dude. Dude, this is crazy. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. The homeowners told us yes. that they always hear that woman. That they, she's always speaking. That she's always talking, right? Yes. I hope, I hope they could hear that. It is so loud that she's talking. Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen, yes. And that's exactly where she got the cannonball and she shut up the police. I can hear you talking. Would you like to talk with us? We don't mean no harm. Just wanna know. Olivia, I'm getting scared. Guys, this is crazy. Heard the lady, okay? Heard noises? I can't believe this. What are we gonna do? I don't know, you think we should continue to communicate? Cause she's should obviously we, like- Should we get our tools out? The tools, yes. yes. Can we get the tools out? <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God, the whole couch! The whole couch! Guys, I don't know if you saw, the whole couch just, oh my God. Apparently this was the kids room. This was the, yeah, the twin daughters room. Okay. Just, I don't want to be in that living room anymore. Just go, just go. Oh my God. So apparently they redid the room though. So um, this is now the other child's room who um, people we know who lives here. So it's a little different, but they did keep a lot of the children's toys. Yes, this doll right here. Um, this was one of the twins. Um, she loved and, it very, and that very clown deeply. too, right? Yes, and that one too. And this one right over here. Okay, now this one was their favorite. This one was their favorite. And if you can't already see, this is as creepy as anything I've ever seen before. It does. Apparently, they loved it so much because it was so weird and had no head. They, they bought it like that. They loved it and they shared it and sometimes they even would fight over it. Yes. Even though they had so many toys, they o they only wanted to play with this exact one. Yeah. I can't quite remember the name. Do you remember the name? I don't really know. What was it? Um, something like Strings? Mr. Strings? I think so. Mr. Strings? Yeah, because you can see he has strings on here. He's a very odd looking dog because you see his... um. Pointer fingers out, his hands, his pinky's gone, probably from the kids playing with it. We only know and just the name. no head. Said that this doll has caused so many problems in this house. It's yes. it moves, it uh, turns off and on light. You can um, hear it like walking and shifting and stuff like that. So I am afraid of this doll. Oh my god, guys. Look, we turn off the camera to talk real quick, but it's fucking moving. It is so- Look at this pointer thing, it's almost like it's- it's pointing at me. Look at it! Oh no. I don't want to get fingered, please! <laughs> Look at it, Olivia. It's fucking moving! Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Now we're gonna do something you might have heard. It's called, a um, What is it called? It's called the Estes Method. Estes Method. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna have this speaker connected to these headphones with the blindfold on while Olivia is asking me questions for the ghost. I'll be, well, asking the ghost questions and I'll answer through this box. Yes. But as she's asking me questions, she's gonna take pictures. pictures all around the room just to see if we can capture something. Yes. 
So, putting on the headphones and the blindfold, I would not be able to see or hear. So let's get started. You ready with your questions lined up? Yes. Uh, we, we don't mean to harm you in any way. We're just here to ask some questions if you would like. Fart. <laughs> I swear, guys, that's what it said. We would just like for you to please. Uh, These are kids, so like you know, it'd be a little silly. Shh, don't talk. I'm just letting the. You can't hear me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, so um, we're talking to the kids. So, or who anyone? Whoever's here, um, we would like. I would like to know who I'm talking to. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, if you could please tell me your name. Hi. Hi. Um. So, what is your name? Who, who am I talking to? Okay, it's something they want to tell me. Um, little. Little. Okay, little. Okay, okay. So, Cindy. Cindy. Okay, we might be talking to one of the children. Um, so, Cindy. Um, sad. Oh, you're sad. Okay, so, Cindy, I understand that you're sad um, that your mom killed you. Um, don't, you don't want me to bring that up? Well, listen here, little good lady, you fucking died, so. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be stuck here? You can't go anywhere. Stuck? Yes, you're stuck here. You know, you can't leave the house. Travel? So. Kitchen? Yes, so you can only in the house so you room room okay guys so it's it's said that it's pretty bad to do it for such a long time so me and Olivia are gonna switch jobs am I still talking to Cindy no who is this no <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you want to say Leah Yes, that's me. Is there something you want to tell me? Yes. What is that? Poo poo. James. Yes, that's, that was your father. Or is this James who I'm speaking to? James. This is James, okay. James, how do you feel about your wife killing you? Whore. I don't think that's such a nice thing to say, James. Well, I mean, she did kill you, so. Murderer. Yeah, she was a murderer. Um, anyway. Slut. Damn. Did she sleep with other guys? No. Well, then why do you feel the need to call her such things? You don't get it. Window. Uh-oh. Guys. I didn't mention, but in this room, this is the exact window she jumped out of because this was her kid's room. And as soon as she saw them dead, she jumped out this window. Jump out. All right, guys, it's said that this lamp, the little girls love to play with. Yes. And we're going to see if it responds with the light. Please turn off the light. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. It turned off. Guys, it totally turned off. Oh my god. Guys, that. Oh, and it's back on. Okay. Oh. That, that tells us something, guys. That was intense. So far, we've seen a chair, the chair. fell, and then this the light, door the door moved, and now the light. The light. This is hardcore proof, okay? Yes. If you think this is fake, that's a you problem. This house is haunted as can be. Let me tell you, you really think that you've seen it? You think, oh, Sam and Colby, Sam and Colby this, Sam and Colby that. Let me tell you, Leah and Olivia are this. Because, dude. <laughs> what? You're bleeding. Where? Your nose. Look. Oh, you're kidding. Dude. Dude. What? This is not okay. Do you feel lightheaded? Yeah, dude, I'm... Dude, I don't have nosebleeds. Look how much... It's bleeding. Oh my god. We need to leave the dude. house. Dude. I'm so done. It's only 3 a.m. I need to go, dude. I dude, need to go. 3 a.m.? No, get your bags, dude. I need to leave. Leah just left the room. She stormed out. She can't take this anymore. I don't I don't know what's happening. It's 3 
a.m. And she wants to leave. But guys, 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. Dude, why aren't you getting your bags? I told you that we need to go. Dude, it's we, 3 a.m. I need to go. No, the devil's I'm not hour. Staying. I know, I'm not staying. One more minute. Get that camera out of my... Guys, we're in a different room. Yes, this one. And they weren't lying when they said the upstairs was unbelievable. Yes. Okay. I mean, one thing after another, I can't take it. And we were supposed to spend the night. I'm sorry if it's dark, but we were supposed to spend the night, you know, in this house. I can't, I can't do it. You know, call me a wimp, call me fake. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of this house, dude. No, come on. We, we had to stay. There's what just though? rooms that we need to stay. No, man, I, I don't think I can do it, man. Did you, my nose, I, I bled. What if it, it told it's me fine. to jump, dude. dude when you were fine. talking to it, it didn't say anything. Dude, it's fine, we have to, we need to stay. We need to prove more. <sighs> All right, you're with me? Yes. We got this together? Yes. Okay. Okay. Dude, what is that? Wait. Dude, what is that? Guys, there's something written on that door. Guys, what does it say? What is that? Dude, Guys. it says red, red rum. rum. Dude, wait, look it in the camera, dude. It says it murder. It says murder. Oh my God. Guys, there is no, oh my God, my nose is still stained. There is no safe room in this house. I don't know no. where to go. I mean, downstairs, yeah, but I can hear the woman talking. Yes, guys, this is crazy. We... But I don't want to leave. <sighs> I to... said that I'd do it. We got this. We need to stay. We, we need, need to stay. We need to. We need to. We need to, guys. We need to find out what, why they're doing this. Why are they haunting people? The homeowners are really nice, and they have to deal with this. And I'm just wondering why, after all these years, it was nine. It was 1876. All these years, they're still acting up in this house like don't, don't they get tired they only lived in this house for at least a year and then that's when they died let's try to bring peace to yes. this to this family yes we need to bring peace to this house and this family we're gonna take a 30 minute break and we're gonna go back in that room and we're going to talk to whoever's there yes We're back in this room. I'm already feeling wheezy. Because I know the spirits don't want us here. Yeah. They've told us, told me to jump. And uh, But before we leave, and it's about to be five, and that's when we're going out of here. Okay, guys, I don't care. We are leaving right at five. I want to leave. But um, there is one thing they said not to do. It was to make this uh, doll like clap its hands. They yeah. told us not to do that. Every time um, a client or whatever, a visitor comes and stays at this house, whenever they do that, terrible things happen, terrible things. And I don't even know what the correlation with like clapping its hand. We don't know, no one knows. It's just a, a rule not to do it. So, but we're rule, rule breakers, so Leah's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna do this for y'all. Please subscribe, okay? If this anything happens, which I'm sure it won't, right? Nothing too crazy, like. No, I don't think so. Maybe like bad luck. If anything, yeah. Yeah, but like you know, yeah. I'm doing this for you guys. I love you. Okay. You ready? You ready? Yeah. I'm not ready. It's okay. Hey guys, so the last clip y'all saw was quite traumatic, um, and we kind of um, don't really want to talk about what had happened and what had happened after. Um, like we said, it was really traumatic and it quite literally changed our life. Um, so 
We just will never forget that night. No. In the Cannonball House. Thank you guys for watching our video. Um, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you whenever. Yeah. Till then. Okay, it took place in nine. Okay, it took place in 1872. <laughs> Guys, um, so this took place in 1872. <laughs> Already I'm getting this feeling. Eerie feeling. I feel. You feel it. It's. <laughs>